Now the first step is to restart Steam. So go to Steam, click on exit and then you can launch Steam once again and then you can check. If that does not work, restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to uninstall and reinstall Battleye. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. Now over here, open Dune sandbox folder, open binaries folder, Win64. Over here you can see Battleye folder, open Battleye. And over here you can see uninstall Battleye, make a right click and then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. And here you can see, would you like to uninstall Battleye service, click on yes. Click on OK. Now once done, now make a right click on install Battleye and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes. And even if you don't see anything, just, just follow the step. And once installed, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. This time again, uninstall Battleye. Click on run as administrator. Make a right click and then click on yes to allow. Again, click on yes, uninstall. Now do not install this time. You launch the game from here. And during the launch, it will install Battleye. Now launch the game from here. And here you can see Battleye launcher. Now click on OK. Click on Yes to allow. So over here you can see it's installing Battleye service and it should launch the game. Now while installing Battleye, if you receive any kind of error like fail to update or install Battleye. In that case, you can close the launcher everything and then you have to relaunch the game once again and then you can check. Now the next step is to update the BIOS. Now this has worked for many uh, players so it might work for you. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number make sure that you select your computer now once you select your computer you can go to drivers and download page and then find the bios make sure that you select the right operating system and then update the bios so you can download the bios and then install it in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system bios during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game if that does not work the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default, express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now AMD card users, go, first of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver, then go to AMD websites and then select your latest, select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to install GeForce Hotfix that is 576.66 version. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So in Google, you can search for this driver and you can go to official website, NVIDIA website. And over here you can see um, this hotfix addresses the following Dune Awakening may crash during gameplay. So over here you can see click here to download the GeForce hotfix driver. So once the download is complete, you can run this exe file.
click on yes to allow click on ok now click on again agree and continue and then select the option custom next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation click on next and once the installation is done you have to restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box go to graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so go to the game installation folder open this dune box and then binary is win 64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on the game and then over here select high performance again click on add desktop app go back and then select the first exe file and then click on add again click on the game and select high performance now you can launch the game still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options now over here you might see power saver option so in my case i see only balanced you can click on change uh, sorry in your case if you see power saver select power saver and then check you can even go for balanced uh, for many user power saver has worked so you can try this and then you can check now still not working the next step is to install intel extreme tuning utility software so uh, if you have it you can launch it if you don't have it you can install it install it from the intel website now once you install it you can run intel uh, you can run this intel tuning utility in my case it's not installed so you can install it and then launch it when you launch it then uh, you can go to the application and you will see performance score ratio so if this is set to 58 or maybe uh, 57x or 56x you can try 55x or maybe 54x so try to lower down performance score ratio and then you can check now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so you can make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and open this folder binaries win64 you can make a double click launch the game from here so instead of launching the game from steam you can just make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click and then go to properties and go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work this time you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even Put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then launch the game now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this empty it follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now this is very important so go to your um, antivirus program and like if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security and then go to windows security and then click on virus and threat protection and then scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then open dune sandbox binaries win64 select this exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then this time select this one add all the exe file even if it is not game exe open battle i select this be service and then click on open and then again click on add an allowed app browse all apps and you have to select the first exe file select this first exe file click on open once it is added now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall 
click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then again, do the same thing. Uh, go to the, open the game folder, select all the exe file, add. Again, allow, browse, open this binary is Win64, select this, open, add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, select this, add. Allow another app, and then open battle light, select this, open, add. Once everything is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to reset game settings in the launcher. So when you launch the game, it opens the launcher. Now when it opens the launcher, here click on the more option and then you will see reset game settings. Click on reset game settings and then you can check. If that does not work, the next step is to rename or rename the save game files because when you rename the save game files uh, all this let me inform you all the save game progress will be lost you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup first now for this you can go to the game in, uh, go to the save game locations so open this pc so open C drive, then open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items, open app data folder, open the local folder. Here you can see Dune sandbox folder, open this folder, open save folder. First of all, delete the config file, config, config folder. Now when you delete the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. So you can if you want you can create a backup you can copy this paste to the desktop and then you can make a right click and then you can delete config folder and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can rename the complete folder so you can go to this location and then over here you can see the game folder make a right click and then click on rename dot old and once you rename it but create a backup first i forgot to create a backup so just create a backup so you can just copy it don't delete it just rename it and then maybe you can paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can rename this folder and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB so and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on OK and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM now total RAM in my case that is 
16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 One. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to do not overclock. So if you have overclocked your computer, set it to default and close all the overclocking application. So if you have MSI afterburner, reward tuner, any kind of overclocking application, close it. Also disable steam overlay. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to general tab, turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game, and then launch the game. If you have any other overlay application running, like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, go to NVIDIA app settings, turn off NVIDIA overlay, or you can turn off all the overlay in all the overlay application or simply close all the overlay application and then check. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Visual files. So you have to download this x86 and x64. So download this x86 and x64. So click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, you can close these and then you can restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect additional, sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any kind of third party services or application running, close it. If you have undervolted, you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.